I wanted to demonstrate quickly how you can use the CGDB debugger to debug Go programs. So basically CGDB is a wrapper around the GDB which is commonly used to debug C programs, C++ and Go programs. So let's get started. The first thing is that if you're on Ubuntu you can easily install CGDB with sudo apt-get install CGDB. I installed it already. So how do we use it? Let me first list the files that I have here and I have an executable that I already built with go run. So I just type cgdb and the executable name. And what I get then is a split screen with first the code context above and then the normal gdb console below. So this is what gdb looks, looks like if you don't run it through cgdb. So CGDB adds the code context in a separate window. And now to switch between these two windows, you use both the escape key to go to the code, and then you can use the arrow keys to navigate, and the I key to go to the console. I stands for insert. So let us now go down here and let us step into this function run net on line 76. So to do that I use the I key to go to the console and then I add a breakpoint with B and add the line number 76. And we see that I get a little red mark there. And now since the program is not started yet I need to run it with R which is short for run and it will of course stop on the breakpoint and we see that with the green arrow. Now I want to step into that function, so I use S and get into the function. And then to, to step line by line, you can use the N for next. But let me press escape and navigate down a little bit here. I see that I have a go routine here. And let's see what this variable V, uh, what the value of that is. So what we need, we need to put a breakpoint first on, on the go, go routine. So that we can get into that. So let's put a breakpoint on 360. And then let's step until we get to that one. And then we continue. Let's go past that line with the V. And now since V should be set, we can print it with the print command. Or we can print, we can use V and the dot and the tab key to see, to get out the completion of what members this variable has. And we can print them individually as well if we want. So basically I think that's it. If you want to know more commands, you can use help, which will guide you a bit. And if you want to quit, you use the Q for quit. And uh, actually these short commands, there are actually longer ones, you can use quit as well but uh, it's of course faster to use just a one letter command. Just confirm, and that's it. Thanks for watching.